Yeah, so in this video we're going to take this um, single tank tread part that I've built here in Z Modeler using the same techniques as I've shown in um, other videos, Z Modeler videos, if anybody's seen them. Um, so the main, the, the concept really is we'll take this single part, we create a, a tri part uh, insert mesh curve brush from this single part and then we'll build a template for the shape of our tracks uh, using Z modeler and then just uh, take data from that the shape of the template extract the curve from it and then just apply the newly created um, insert brush to that curve so there's a couple of important things to note um, in setting this up it's a very it's kind of simple straightforward process um, but a couple of things to note uh, particularly making the uh, the curve brush uh, the triparts curve brush so we have a single part here and um, the main things that you want to bear in mind are a tripart curve brush so obviously you need three parts so there's two things you need really and that's one it has to be um, a part that's tileable so you can see here if I clone this and move it up this bar here is going to line up with this and it'll keep going you know infinitely so the three parts we need are the same part but the part on the on this end will have the bar the part on the top end uh, will, will end in this and the middle part will always be this so that's the idea of the tripart brush you've a start an end and a middle so the middle section is the main section and um, that's going to be seen and then it, you can close if it's a loop curve you can close it up and, and it'll close up so um you need that and also each of the three parts has to be um, in one sub tool and three separate poly groups so what I'll do and also sorry yeah you just need to make sure it's oriented correctly so when you draw it out um, onto the surface of your mesh um, that it's going to be oriented correctly so this is the top of this tread so x pointing out and across the z-axis is how this is going to work so i'll just go up to move so we'll just control shift click in the middle circle here and uh, just make sure to line it up correctly and then press control w to separate uh, the poly groups because remember we need three different poly groups one for each part so now if we just uh, control click on the middle part that'll mask the bottom part and uh, we can control shift drag up again from the middle circle line that up and then control click to invert the mask and then control w and that will uh, give us our three poly groups so basically you can see now what i was talking about this is the start this is the end and this is the middle so it'll always tile so you need it obviously you need a tile in part so that's all we need to do with the track and now we can just come up to um the brush menu here and just say uh, create insert mesh and now we can um, append it and create a multi mesh or we can just uh, create a new one as we do in this case so I have a new brush created and now we can uh, save that brush so I'll just save that as a tank tread my caps lock was on tank tread and we'll save that out so once we have that created uh, we want to just test it out first that it's oriented correctly so um, I'm just going to switch over to this uh, Q cube and with the insert brush um, selected here we can just drag it out and you can see that it's uh, it's oriented correctly so back to the tread and um, just gonna save that. And now with that done, we can um, jump over to Q cube and we can build out our uh, our template. So for that, I'm just gonna start with a quick cylinder here. So this six six six, the number of the beast, and uh, we'll make sure to put it in the, in the correct axis. And we want it going. Y here from a side on view so this is going to be our template now and there's loads of ways that we could model this you know um, but I'm just 
for the sake of this and the fact that I want to do it in Zeb Modeler, I'm going to use Zeb Modeler just to show people. So a lot of these tutorials are focused around Zeb Modeler and using it for different tasks. So that's that's what I'm going to stick to. So sorry, we just go to my Zeb Modeler brush, and I'm just going to get rid of some of these edge loops first, and move. Drag our transpose and control shift to copy that. <coughs> so <coughs> tank treads, you know, or tank tracks. You wanna have uh, your fly wheels, your your drive wheels, you know, one up here, one up here, and then usually one here and here, and then wheels in between, support wheels. <coughs> wheels that don't actually drive the tracks but they're just there obviously to, to stabilise it and to, to hold its shape. So when you're building this template you can build it any way you like you can use this t method I'm just about to show you but add in extra kind of what would be wheels here and and vary the geometry as if with the sag of the track but I'm not going to do this here I'm just going to keep it straight for the purpose of the demonstration but after you've seen me do this you'll know what I'm talking about so we can uh, just control drag this and then control shift drag one more time and now we'll go back to our Z modeler brush clear the mask right so we're just going to set that to uh, delete a single poly and we're just going to alt and tag some of these faces here so we'll tag them and those ones there just want to turn off that floor and we'll come down and say those two and these two these ones and and those ones there and we'll delete them and then hover over an edge and we'll use bridge two holes and yeah that's okay don't worry about that messed up geometry we're only going to be using the um we're only going to be using the outer kind of edge loop. I can see now that kind of gives us the basic shape of our tank track. And you know, as I was mentioned, if you had the, the fly wheels and the um, or the support wheels in in place here, you, you could have some sag between this when you're building it because it's pretty simple to build it. Now what we want to do is come in here to uh, hover over an edge. Oh, sorry, hover over a face and poly group, poly loop, and we'll just uh, and we don't want the pink. We'll just uh, click and hold and tap Alt just to give it a different uh, poly group, and then we'll uh, Control Shift, and then we want to um, let me see. We're gonna hide these ones and hide that one. That's all we want, so delete hidden, close holes. And now there's our um there's a track there for uh for our template. So I just control W and then um I'm sorry I just wanna actually split that down the middle. I'm just gonna split that down the middle and um Unfortunately, um, it pr might be added soon, but um, it's a modeler. This add to curve at the moment. There's only um, edge is the only uh, option we have, so you can only add a single edge or delete all curves. So we don't really have a huge amount of control there, unfortunately. But I'm sure, I'm sure that will be rectified in the future if Pixelasics track record is anything to go by. Um, Right, with that done, instead of because we don't have the options to do that, we can still use um, we can still use this function down here, in core functions, and we'll just click. Uh, we're just going to use uh, poly groups, uh, frame mesh, and you can see now we have a curve here following our our, our template. So if we come back to our um, thread, um, oh sorry, not back to the thread. Uh, if we select our uh, tank tread brush and 
make sure I actually saved it. You know, that's this is the main thing. And when you're making this brush, and one other of the main things is to make sure curve mode is active, or it won't behave as a curve brush. So you can see now, if I drag it out, it's going to drag out as that tank track, and it's going to tile. So one thing to to bear in mind, that important setting when you're setting this up. On a straight line, it's fine, but when when you start to ground curves, it might spread a bit. So this uh, you can play around with this curve step, um, and then bend and snap. Um, snap will snap it to the surface, and then um, you can mess around with these different settings. There's other tutorials around. I think uh, uh, Michael Pavlovich did it, um, a full Z Classroom series, and all this stuff. So now with that in place, all we need to do is, on our insert brush selected, all we have to do is click once on the curve, and we have our tank track, and then we can delete that, and we can um, delete hidden, and that is our tank track. Just take it down as well, and. Um, perspective drag it out and control shift and now we have two so that's pretty much all there is to it um, hopefully this one was useful to anybody that's in the process of our plan to build a tank in ZBrush or even a Wally or uh, anything else with a track, a caterpillar, whatever Alright then, cheers, thanks, good luck.